Oh, I'm supposed to teach today. I am Prosper Mamuzu Ogiliaka, your very young grammar teacher. Before now, we've been making use of ringing tone, ring tone, callback tone. Do you know what they really mean? Oh, my ringing tone is um, Adai his congratulation. My ringing tone is Frank Edwards, uh, Ebube. What do they actually mean? If you say something is your ringing tone or callback tone, they mean the same thing. Ringing tone and callback tone mean the same thing. It is that sound or music that you hear when you call someone. For example, if you call someone, you will hear to copy this tune, press one. I know how to fly. Da, 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 da. I will get good news from the yellow connection. That one is ringing tone or callback tone. But if you say ring tone, ring tone, ring tone is different from ringing tone. Ring tone is the sound your phone will make when someone calls you. Maybe if someone calls you, you can be playing a congratulations, you are seeing the glory of God. It is different from ringing tone or callback tone. I don't know if you get it from the two now. Ring tone is it from ring, ringing tone. Ringing tone is the sound your phone makes when you are calling someone. Or to copy this tune, press one. And it starts playing. But ring tone is the sound your phone makes when you are called. If you check your phone and find out that you can touch the screen so when you operate it, unlike those Nokia Touch that we were using before now, you don't have to say your phone is a screen touch if you've been saying it before now because many people are fond of using it. My phone is a screen touch. Ah, uh, don't you know my phone is a screen touch? I don't know how to use screen touch. No, if you've been using that before now, stop using it. Start saying my phone has a touch screen. Say touch screen. My phone has a touch screen, not that my phone is a screen touch. My phone is a screen touch. Uh, my laptop is a screen touch. No, it has a touch screen, not that it is a screen touch. So if you've been using uh, screen touch before now, stop using it and start using touch screen. Say touch screen. And again, and again. When we say a student that is about to graduate, Maybe the student graduating today or tomorrow. We don't call them graduates. It doesn't end with T. It's not graduates. A student that is about to graduate is not a graduate. If their mother was not graduates, it is called graduand or graduands. You say graduand, not graduate. You say graduands, not graduates. So if you've been saying graduates, maybe in a school where students or pupils graduate um, and they are celebrated. If you've been writing graduates before now, stop writing graduates, but graduates, celebration of the graduates. Do you know the difference between these two words? These two words you have here. You don't pronounce them as fiance, fiance. She is my fiance. <laughs> it's not fiance, it is fiance. Say fiancé. So pronounce it as fiancé though. So if it is a male, like the boy who is about to marry, it is fiancé and the woman is fiancé. They have the same pronunciation. It is all the difference of the last E. The last E makes us to understand that that one is a lady. Then the, the one that does not have two E is the one that belongs to a male. We pronounce it as fiancé, fiancé, not fiance, fiance, fiance. <laughs> One man was saying, say, ah, this is my bias, this is my bias, is it bias? Bias is a with you. It's not bias, it's not fiance. It is fiancé, fiancé, fiancé for male, fiancé for female. Now check this out. You are a dash man, you are a dash man. Will you say you are a corny man? You are a corny man? You are a connive man or a corny man? What do you think is the right answer? What is the adjective they are qualifying the man? Which one have you been using before now? 
Is it A, B, C, or D? Whatever that you've been using, the right answer is A. Cone. Double N I N G. That is the right answer. You are a cunning man. Cunning. Cunning. If you've been using the other ones before now, stop using them. And if you love this video, I will want you to do me a favor. Just please help me. Share this video. Like this video and also comment. You cannot be learning alone. Share this video to as many as you like. Let them watch and also learn. I love you. I love you. Bye-bye.